Hey guys, what's going on? Today I just got a quick tip for you. This is going to be more of a Mac tip, but it relates to Logic, so let's check it out. So I'm working in Logic, and I'm trying to do an edit, and as you probably noticed when you're trying to do an edit, you hit play. 99 bars, one beat, one tick. 99 bars, one beat, one tick. A voiceover is talking, so sometimes it's nice to just be able to mute speech, and there isn't a key command for that by default, but you can do that with a keyboard commander. So. I'm gonna open a voiceover utilities with VOF8. Voiceover utility, voiceover utility, window, utility categories, table, general. And now I'm gonna hit command eight to open the commanders. Commanders, commanders. And I'm gonna go select the keyboard commander. Trackpad, numpad, keyboard, tab, three, selected, keyboard, tab. There we go. And now I'm gonna jump to the bottom of this window with VON because the add button is somewhere towards the end of this window. Help button, remove button, add button. There we go, add. I just use a VO left arrow to go back and find it. So I'm gonna VO space on add. This is gonna give us a new edit field so we can select what letter we want to assign our keyboard commander to. In this case, I'm probably gonna do uh, VO Z as in zebra or Z and assign that to mute speech. So I'm gonna click add. Edit text, blank. I'm gonna hit the letter Z. 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 And now I'm gonna do VO right arrow to select what I want to assign this to. Command menu button. All right, command menu. So I'm going to VO space on this. Menu, 14 items. And we want speech. So I'm going to go down this list to find speech. General, information, navigation, sub text, sub menu, web, sub menu, find, sub menu, tables, su size and position, sub audio, sub menu, braille, sub visuals, sub menu, speech, sub menu. There we go, speech. Speech, sub decrease pitch, decrease rate, decrease volume. And I just expanded that sub menu. Increase intonation. And I'm going through the sub menu now. Increase pitch, increase rate. Increase volume. Mute speech toggle. Mute speech toggle. That's what we want to assign it to. Press mute speech toggle. Mute speech toggle. Menu button. And that's pretty much it. So now I can close this window with Command W. Logic Pro 10. Jump back logic Pro. Over to Logic here. Dirty Guitar NPM. Take one. Region. So now. 99 bars one beat. 99 bars one beat one tick. So now I'm gonna hit right option Z or right option Z. Speech muted. Now if I hit play. And now I can hear to make my edit, and when I need voiceover back to talk to me again, speech unmuted. I just unmute speech. And this way, I still can use voiceover controls to navigate and do everything I need to do. So I don't have to turn voiceover off because if you turn voiceover off, you can't do voiceover navigation if you know what you're doing and you know where you're going. You can do one or two things while the speech is still muted. So that's a good reason to mute speech. And now you know how to set a commander for something other than launching an app or bringing an app to the front. All right, hope this was helpful. Hope you found it useful. If you did, like, subscribe, and share. And if you got any tips you wanna share with the community, please feel free to leave those in the comments below. And until next time, happy recording.